care of ourselves is such an important thing. And of course, Dr. Mm -hmm. Mary Gillis joins us now talking about uh, the importance of mammograms. Mary. And you know, this is huge, <laughs> Mary. Yes, we always love when you come and join us. And my birdie tells me that you spoke to someone very big in music about this. I mm. did. Well, first I want to say it's great to see you, Randall. Oh, hey. <laughs> yes, oh, hey. guest. <laughs> Okay, I did. I, uh, I spoke with Grammy-winning uh, singer-songwriter Sheryl Crow. She is a breast cancer survivor, diagnosed back in 2006, but has since recovered. And she's really taken on this platform as a voice for breast cancer and the importance of screenings. Um, I want us first to take a look at a sort of a snapshot, if you will, of, of her story. To look back on that, I was in my early 40s. I was super fit, really good, healthy eater, no family history. I had a routine mammogram that I really did not want to go to. I went, they said, come back in six months, you have some abnormalities, and instead of waiting six months, I went ahead and got a needle biopsy, and it was revealed that I had stage one breast cancer. And since then, um, I, I've, I've really felt the need to share what I know, which is until we have a cure, early detection is our best line of defense. Mm. Wow. So there are a couple things I want to point out here. Um, it, no risk factors for the disease. Like she said, you guys, I mean, she was super healthy, super mm -hmm. fit, mm -hmm. uh, healthy diet, which was so puzzling right. to yeah. me to, 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 to have her hear that. Um, no family history. And it's interesting wow. because it, it's almost as if you don't have breast cancer in your family until you do. Mm. So yeah, I mean, uh, that's true. You know, my mom passed away from breast cancer. Oh, and that's, this is exactly her MO. I mean, there's there was no one. By no the time signs. that we realized that it was even there, she had inflammatory breast cancer. She was already at stage four. Wow. So when Goodness. we talk about this, this is very very real. Oh, wow. Alexis, right? I mean, it's it's mothers and sisters mm -hmm. and aunts and and you know, Randall, uh, you know, same thing. I mean, mothers and and yeah. sisters and, yeah. and everyone. So really, um, okay. So I do want to say that she was joined with a um, OBGYN, Dr. DeCarla Albright, was who is based in Philadelphia, who said the number of people who have family ha have family history is actually very small mm, wow. um, there are more women out there who get breast cancer who don't have family history which uh, again like like we just spoke about is um, so surprising um, and not only did she uh, Cheryl go when she didn't want to go but she went ahead and didn't wait for those six months after her mm. initial appointment mm. they said oh something something's up but um she went and she got that liquid biopsy so just um alexis i'm sure a liquid biopsy that's a blood mm. test that um, can detect cancer cells from a tumor that is circulating in the blood or pieces of dna from from the tumor cells that are, are in the blood wow you know mm. i will say this i'm so happy that you're educating people on this because you know my mom went in for multiple checkups they found nothing it wasn't until she got some of the later tests that were specifically to identify inflammatory breast cancer that they even detected it. And this was a person who didn't drink, didn't smoke, mm -hmm. ate predominantly well, you know. Yeah. And so just like you said, I mean, we didn't have, from our understanding, we didn't have a family, um, you know, history of it. So that's why it's so important to have these conversations. So Mary, I'm so happy that you're here letting people know. Well, yeah. Alexis, I, I, would have no, I would have no idea unless I had this conversation. I mean, I was just no family history in my family and I'm just like, Okay, I'm yeah. fine. And again, I eat healthy. I'm, and I feel know. like cancer is more like that these days where yeah. a lot of people, you know, it doesn't have age limits like it used no. to have. And, and it's coming after people. Uh, well, I mean, people, like you said, I mean, no pre-existing conditions. Mm -hmm. And, and you're getting more people who are, are voices, and they need to be, so that we, we're more aware, more alert, you know, that, that this is out there and it's coming at any type of person. Exactly. And, and, and Cheryl's main thing, and, and Dr. Uh, DeCarla Wright, her main thing is really about... Um, uh, well, people are afraid to go to the doctor, you guys. I'm sure you can right. relate. Sometimes we cringe and are afraid to, to go ahead in fear of, um, you know, having something, finding if there might be a problem, but um, knowledge is power. And the longer you wait, um, the more you get into trouble. So Dr. Albright says once you hit 40, schedule that mammogram. Mm -hmm. And we know some have been delaying appointments because of the pandemic, mm -hmm. as well as other health screenings. But don't delay anymore. Pick up the phone, call your doctor, and schedule that mammogram. And the 3D mammogram, yes. Alexis, yep. is that ring a bell? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yes. And mm -hmm. I'm young, and I mean, and I've, I've started already trying to do what I can, having mm -hmm. blood tests, things of that nature. Know how to check yourself. Stay ahead. Especially yeah. for my young women out there and young men, because sometimes people don't realize, but men can get breast cancer mm -hmm. too. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you're doing all of those things to take care of you. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That's that's good stuff, Mary. I mean, right. I think this is just something that people really need to mm -hmm. to be aware of and 
and like we said, I mean, it just affects people from all walks of life, all backgrounds. Mm -hmm. You know what? And I will tell you this. Going back, to, I don't know if you guys. I go to worst case scenario when doctor, when I, you know, going to the doctor. Oh gosh, I have this, I have that. I don't want to go. But you know what? Uh, and uh, sometimes I tell my friend, if you're scared, I'll, I'll go with you, or I'll say, a friend, mm. will you go with me? Yeah. But the thing is, I got to stay mayor. You know, pull back a little bit. Okay? It could be something. It could be nothing. Yeah. Knowledge is power. Just yeah. find out. Your yeah, doctor's there to help you. Exactly. Absolutely. No, I love that, Mary. Thank you so much. Oh, you guys, thank you. Hey, take oh, care Mary. of you. We can't get another you. So take care of you. <laughs> exactly. I like that. Oh, thank you so much. Well, hey.